Hey, Brad Gerlach here from ProfitableSelfPublishing.com. In today's video, we're going to talk about creating an active table of contents for your Kindle book. Uh, active table of contents uh, is simply the table of contents in a Kindle book, and your readers can click on the chapter or sub chapter, and it'll take them directly to that page and that chapter. Uh, I find it very important to do that in the books that I publish since I do. Uh, a lot of how-to books that way your readers can use your book as a reference in the future and if they forgot something they can come back look at the table of contents and go right to it it's not as easy as a regular physical book where you can flip through the pages really easily to find it uh, so this is an important uh, important aspect of your Kindle book to make it useful for your readers and this is what the table of contents is going to look like when we're done and I'm gonna what I'm gonna do right now is just remove it and I'll show you how to build it. So first thing I did was after you got, I have my title page here and I have a legal copyright legal notice disclaimer. And after that, I just created a page break and I'll do that real quick. So all you do is come up here to insert, insert page break. So I have a brand new page. You also want to insert a page break for between after every chapter. So your ch chapter start on its own page. So what we need to do is we need a, we need word here to know when the chapters start. And it, by doing that or to, to do that, we need to create headings. So all you do is the ti your title, your chapter titles, you just want to make them a, a heading. So you can see here, this is my regular content. And here's the, uh, the font and the font size. And this is my chapter title and you can see I changed the uh, the font size a little bigger to do that all we do is click on h1 or heading 1 you can modify this uh, by right clicking on that on that heading you can click on modify and which is I, I did and I made it uh, made the font size a little bigger and I made it bold so you just want to go through your your entire book and you know, highlight it, click it, and move to the next one. If you notice with the table of contents, I actually had each chapter and I had little subtopics, uh, subchapters in it. And that's simply like right here. I have uh, little topics that I wanted to, to highlight, and that way people can get to them easily. And that's just another heading. And you can see heading two is highlighted here. And if I just to look at the style, it's the same as my. It's the same as the regular text of the book. Uh, the only difference is I underlined it and made it italic. So, once you go through your book and you do all the headings that you want, uh, the chapter headings and any kind of subheadings you you wanted in there and you want to include in your in your table of contents, then it's time to build the table of contents. So, come to that blank page we created with the page break. And this is really simple. All you want to do is come up here, go to reference, and you got a table of contents. And you have some different options here. I'm going to click uh, this one. Um, it's up to you how you want to do it. Press, press it, and voila, it's right there. So all the chapters and subtopics are all right there. And what's nice about it, if you would change anything, you can actually update yours. You can update just the page numbers or the entire table. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more tips, please go to my blog at ProfitableSelfPublishing.com.